Hello, I'm Rohini Krishnamurthy. I'm a senior reporter at Down to Earth. I cover science, technology and climate change. Today, I'll be speaking about AI's electricity consumption. With ChatGPT gaining popularity, global electricity consumption by artificial intelligence could increase by 85 to 134 terawatt hours annually by 2027, according to a new report published in the journal Jules. This amount is comparable to the annual electricity consumption of countries such as Netherlands, Sweden and Argentina. As per Alex de Vries, who is the author of the study, looked at the growing demand for AI services, it is very likely that energy consumption related to AI will significantly increase in the coming years. Although data centers' electricity consumption between 2010 and 2018 may have increased by only 6%, the accelerated development raises concern about electricity consumption and potential environmental impact of AI and data centers. In the recent past, generative AI used for creating new content such as text, images or videos such as ChatGPT and DAL-E have grown popular. If generative AI is used in every Google search, the daily electricity consumption would amount to 80 gigawatt hours. In 2021, Google's annual electricity use was 18.3 terawatt hours with 10 to 15 percent coming from AI. In the worst case scenario, according to the author, Google's AI electricity usage could be comparable to Ireland's 29.3 terawatt hours per year. This scenario, however, resumed a full-scale AI adoption. Studies have mainly focused on the training phase, which has a large carbon footprint. For training, large language models or LLMs, including GPT-3, GOFER and Open Pre-Trained Transformer or OPT, reportedly consumed 1,287, 1,066 and 324 megawatt hours of electricity respectively. After they are trained, the LLMs are tested on new data, thereby kicking off the inference phase. The author expressed concerns that the inference phase might contribute significantly to an AI model's life cycle costs. The energy demand of ChatGPT was 564 MWh hours per day compared to the estimated 1287 MWh hours used in the training phase. DeVries suggested some solutions as innovations in model architecture and algorithms could help mitigate or reduce AI-related electricity consumption in the long term. To know more about the latest developments in science, technology and climate change, head to the Down to Earth channel linked in the description.